power of one as effort. The movement of pleasure and anger are a corruption of the Tao. Trouble and grief are abortions of virtue. Love and hatred are the failures of the heart. Concupiscence and lust are the embarrassment of nature. Great anger destroys the negative force, yin, of man, as nature, and great joy disorders the positive, yang. Great anger brings dumbness, great fear leads to madness, sorrow and grief passions and wrong desires obscure the eternal spirit of man and sensual pleasure and liquor would upset his body as equilibrium and harmony. Tao creates and dominates all visible and audible objects. Man is not exception and he holds correspond to the universe. Man has a pair of eyes whereas heaven has the sun and the moon. Heaven has the four seasons of summer, autumn, winter and spring. Whereas man has four limbs. Heaven has the five elements, metal, wood, water, fire and earth, the nine cardinal points and 366 days. This find a correspondence in the five main organs of the body, heart, lungs, kidney, liver and spleen, nine passages or orifices of the body and the 366 joints and branches. Da Yu Heaven has wind, rain, cold, heat and man has the activities of giving and taking or reciprocity of feelings and emotions of joy and anger. The homewars of the body are the wind and rain. Our eternal spirits bear the correspondence of the four elements of water, earth, fire and wind. The pass way of a person also means the break up of four constituents which would then blend with the earth again. Thus men, heaven and earth are mutually intermixed and interrelated. Si, the purpose of acquiring Tao. Tao is the root of all sources and the original character of man. Although Tao dwells inside man, it is clouded by his own doing of liquor drinking, succumbing to temptation of beauty, competition and rat, race for names and status, emotional weakness and blinded love, to name but a few. The age of our eternal spirit have been some 60,000 years old and our conscience is originally pure like those of new, born baby. However, as time passes, our mind have been bogged down with bad deeds and influences and our conscience obscured by wrong desires and insatiable wants. Man loses his character through the desire for fame, and knowledge leads to contention. In the struggle for fame, men cross each other, while their knowledge is but an instrument for scheming and contention. Mankind is living in a sea of sins, but we are treating it as the garden of happiness. To their parochialism and self contrasting outlook, Tao is practically non-existent. People who abnormally develop humanity, exact character and suppress nature in order to gain a reputation, make the world noisy with their discussions and cause it to follow impractical doctrines.
people who commit excess in arguments, like piling up bricks and tying knots, analyzing and inquiring into the distinctions of hard and soft, while identities and differences wear themselves out over vain, useless terms. In exchange for the material essentials of civilized life, Man has lost certain essentials which are necessary for his peace of mind. Those who rely upon the arc, the line, compasses and square to make correct forms injure the natural constitutions of things. Those who seek to satisfy the mind by hampering it with ceremonies and music and affecting humanity and justice have lost the original nature of man. If man keeps his own virtue, the world will avoid deviation from the true path. The way is impeding us. It is not far from man. Those who finds it seeks it. But men having lured by earthly attractions were stubborn to recover their original nature and return to the original state. Those who lost their selves in material things and lose their original nature in the material world may be compared to people who stand on their heads. Acquiring the art of Tao cultivation is also means the art of preventing the eight earthly sufferings of mankind. Life may be very comfortable now. Most rich people of E.G. American have a comfortable material life, but one should not forget the fact that there are many sufferings which human beings cannot avoid. Furthermore, many people in the world are actually living in a condition not much better than that of hell. Examples of such sufferings are the war, torn countries and famine, stricken areas. Sufferings serve as alarms to stimulate one to search for liberations, so let us examine the different kinds of sufferings which changed very little over the long years that a human being experiences. E. Sufferings because of birth. R. Er. Sufferings because of sickness. San. Sufferings because of age. Si. Sufferings because of separation from loved ones or things one like. Wu. Sufferings because of an undesirable confrontation with a person or things. Liu. Sufferings because of death. Qi. Sufferings because of the denial of one's desires. Ba. Sufferings because of the burning intensification of human behavior, such as hatred, jealousy, etc. It is regrettable that with all the progress in human cultivation, mankind is still unable to lessen or abolish the basic sufferings. In some occasions, sufferings are even intensified by the quickening of life, as pace and the increase of material temptation. The commitment of evil deeds of man gives rise to the confronting great disaster. Man has been living in a world of sufferings since early periods. They were searching their way in the dark. The road which they originally come from is no more concerned as to fame and wealth. 
the way is the spiritual high road to the common existence and evolution of mankind. O men who walk this road, conforming to their instinct for existence, accordance with nature, will make it an integral part of their daily life, the way is not far from men. But this road is frequently in need of repair in order to keep it open and unhindered. That is why cultivation of the way is required. During the olden days, a young ascetic looking for truth will have to abandon his family. She way obtained Tao and so set the universe in order. Fu His, who discovered the principles of mutations of yin and yang, obtained it, and was able to steal the secrets of eternal principles. The Great Deeper obtained it, and has never erred from its course. The Sun and the Moon obtained it, and have never ceased to revolve. K. and Pi with a man, as had but a beast, as body obtained it, and rules over the streams. Chi and Wu, and mountain god, obtained it, and dwells in mountain Tai. The yellow emperor who ruled in 2698-2597 BC, obtained it, and soared upon the clouds to heaven. The western, fairy, Queen Mother obtained it, and settled at Shao Kuang. Fu Yu obtained it, and as Minister of Wu Ting extended his rule to the whole empire. Nowadays, all living things spring from the dust return. Men regard as mortal that which is eternal, and consider as finite that which is infinite. Those who possess Tao are princes in this life, and rulers in the hereafter. Tao will lead you through the portals of eternality to wander in the great wilds of infinity. Those who do not possess Tao behold the light of day in this life and become clods of earth in the hereafter. Wu. The Four Requisites of Tao Cultivation A. The Opportunity of Being Born with a Human Body Man is indeed very fortunate to have a human body and a brain capacity with which he can do all sorts of heavenly work and to spread Tao cultivation as widely as possible to brothers of the forces. The body that one possesses is unreal, for it will disintegrate one day after death. No more will be seen of it. The soul is the only eternal existence. It is the soul that suffers after death. We must therefore make use of the flesh body, also the false body, to save the real one, so. According to teachings, there are altogether five forms of existence and they are heaven, dwellers, to which gods and good spirits belong, human beings, animals, ghosts and hell, dwellers. It is interesting to note that we human beings actually have the best chance to obtain and cultivate Tao and to become a Buddha than the other four forms of existence. Hell, dwellers, ghost and animal practically have little or no chance of getting it because of their self insufficiency and limitation but why are heaven dwellers who are supposed to be at a higher level than human beings?
The answer is that life in heaven is too rich with too many pleasures. A heaven dweller, so busy just enjoying life, has no inclination toward further cultivation. Only a human being who has the brain capacity to receive the teachings, who has suffered hardships and sorrows that serve as alarms to stimulate one to search for a way to be rid of those sufferings and above all possess the ability to cultivate and spread Tao. Also, Various good spirits and deities possess certain powers which human beings usually lack. However the powers of these good spirits and deities are limited because they are also transitory beings. They exist in happy abodes and enjoy their life for a longer period than human beings. When they have exhausted all the good karmas, they shall reborn somewhere else according to the merit of their karmas. In this respect whether they are great or small, both human beings and deities are perishable and subject to rebirth. In some respects, animals are superior to us. Dogs have a keener hearing, insects have a greater sense of smell, ego can see a greater distance. Undoubtedly, men are wiser, but men have to learn much from the ants and bees. Much of the animal is still in us, but also have much more in us. We have the potential of spiritual development. B. The opportunity of being born a Chinese. Tao is just an upright, in absolute perfection, it is not one-sided discrimination. Tao is a direct path descended from heaven. The origins of Tao started in China. The word China means middle with regard to the world. Concurrently, in China a Kunlu mountain is situated right at the center of the globe. According to the principle of Tao, it is the highest mountain in the world and also known as the roof of the world. Life spring into existence originally in China. Logically, Kunlun mountain forms the link between heaven and earth. It is the location where the heaven river flows down and unite with the Huanghe river at the foot of the mountain. The water from the Yellow River is said to be cleared for three days when a messenger from God is born on Earth. Due to its structure in relationship with the truth, it is natural that the first man should be born in China. Therefore, China has the earliest civilization and cultivation in history. Each time when heaven sent Tao down to earth, the Chinese is always given preference to hear of it and to cultivate it. There is nothing peculiar because Tao started originally there. Hence, the Chinese race speaks more of morality. The Chinese is therefore the most fortunate people to hear of Tao so much earlier than other races. See, the right timing of the third white stage. Ever since the birth of first man on earth, the total period has been divided into seven stages. They are known as the green stage, the red stage, and the 
white stake. During the green period, the people were good. They were as innocent as a white sheet of paper with no desires, greed or hatred. It is named the green stage because the people at that stage like green color. At the red stage, the hearts of men were gradually lured by earthly attractions. They started to kill for the greed of money. The people at that stage like red color. It was symbolized on wedding or any auspicious day where people like to dress themselves red. Now, it is the white stage. The hearts of men flared worst. Crimes committed by men of the white stage reached its climax. The heaven god was enraged. As a result, he sent down calamities to rid of all evil men. On the other hand, he cares for the good people. Thereupon, he sent Tao down to save the good people back to heaven. If it is not for the third stage, it is difficult for one to hear of Tao. D. The chance of getting the real truth of Tao. At the third white stage, Tao is widely spread. The three difficulties which have just been mentioned can easily be solved. But the fourth may not be so. Though many chances are offered but those who acquire Tao and carry out self-cultivation till the end is like the morning stars. What causes this to happen? It was because of the numerous crimes they have committed in their past lives. They have owed too much of others. Thus they are obstructed or disturbed by their spiritual creditors, thereby depriving him of the chance to reveal himself to Tao. Others indulged in wine, consumption, sensual pleasures, hot, temper, money conscious or neglecting inner qualities. They are blinded by fame and love affairs. The root of Tao has been neglected. It is also because of the appearance of many outward religions. There are followers of these religions who do not follow the ethical code of conduct but make use of the reputation of certain gods to attract and obscure the wisdom of the people who only pray for advantages and wishes in return. False religion leads nowhere. Those who follow them suffer in the end. Whereas those who had found the root became the enlightened one, Buddha. The most difficult to get in the world is a human body, and the most difficult thing a human body gets is Tao. Unless those who have a sound knowledge of Tao or the good deeds inherited from ancestors, it is indeed impossible to obtain the precious Tao. 六. The advantage of practicing Tao. Men have creative power and the latent inconceivable possibilities to become a Buddha. The worthy cultivation of Tao is not placing of an unseen almighty God over men who arbitrarily controls the destinies of mankind and making him subservient to a supreme power. Through the practices of Tao, one is taught that man can gain his deliverance and purification by his own exertion without depending on external or mediating priests. 
the gate to purification is open to all in every condition of life, high or low, saint or criminal who would care to turn a new leaf and aspire to perfection. We are all potential Buddhas. The difference between accepting or not accepting Tao is 108,000 miles apart. Man, as spirit, as taught, is already 6,000 years old and he needs Tao to stop this cycle of death and rebirth. Below are the same advantages if one accept and cultivate diligently. A. Everlasting life. Life comes from a source and death is but a return to it. Thus beginning follows the ending a continual endless cycle. When a man is born, it is but the embodiment of a spirit. When the spirit is embodied, there is life, and when the spirit disperses, there is death. What we love is the mystery of life. What we hate is corruption in death. But the corruptible in its turn becomes mysterious life, and this mysterious life once more becomes corruptible. For once coming into this material shape, it runs its course until it is exhausted. To be harassed by the wear and tear of life, and to be driven along without possibility of arresting one, as career is not this pitiful indeed. To labor without cease all life, and then, without living to enjoy the fruit, worn, out with labor, to depart, one knows not whether is not this a just cause for grief. The body decomposes and the mind goes with it. Is this not a great cause for sorrow? Human life in this world is but as the form of a white pony flashing across a rock crevice. In a moment, it is gone. Suddenly waking up, all life is born, suddenly slipping off, all silently creep away. With one change, one is born, with another change, one dies. Living creatures moan, and mankind weeps. Remove its bondage, slip off its skin carcass and curling up where shall the soul of man go and the body go with it? Is it perhaps on the great journey home? And how it behaved all of us who are mortal to think gravely of the future? since there are but heaven and hell for final resting places for all souls until the bitter round of life begins again and the good have their reward and the evil theirs also. The sufferings of mankind are so innumerable as to be unimaginable, changing from place to place and from time to time. They cannot be all listed, but let us roughly mention the major ones. That ain't readily apparent. E. Seven sufferings from living, I. Rebirth, Er. Premature death, San. Physical debilities, Si. Being a barbarian, V. Living in frontier areas, on the fringe of civilization, Liu, being a slave, and Qi, being a woman. Er, eight sufferings from natural calamities, I, famines resulting from floods or droughts, Er, plagues of locusts, San, fire, Si, flood, V, volcanic eruptions, including earthquakes and landslides, 6. Collapse of buildings, 7. Shipwrecks, 
including collisions of cars and bar epidemics. 三 five sufferings from conditions of life. I being a widow or widower. 二 being an orphan or childless. 三 being ill without medical care. 四 being poor. Envy being humble in social station. 四 eight sufferings from human feelings. I stupidity. 二 hatred. 三 sexual love. 四 burden imposed by others. V toil. 六 desires. 七 oppression. And 八 distinction. 五 five sufferings from being objects of honor and esteem. I a rich man. 二 a man of high station. 三 a man of longevity. 四 a king or emperor. Envy, a god, a sage, an immortal, or a Buddha. Gaining Tao acceptance also means fleeing from the birth, death cycle of six paths. Whatever path one is channeled into depend on the deeds he has performed during his last life. Good deeds lead to good existence and evil deeds lead to a miserable existence. They are presented as follows. A. Rich or high status people. B. Ordinary people. C. Life, bearer e.g. horse, dog and cat, but excluding human beings. D. Egg. Bearer birds and poultry. E. Creatures living in water, e.g., fish and oyster. F. Insects. The degree and form of punishment one received in hell and the subsequent channeling into one of the six forms is determined by one's own deeds in the last life. The average age of human life no matter rich or poor is only about some 80 years. The miserable lives of the other four forms are also short, with butterfly at the bottom of the list whose age is about a day to two. The cycle of change in the wheel of Liu Paths shall goes on indefinitely with the spirits being transferred from one realm to another depending on the order of merits done, unless the cycle is ceased and that is only by Tao acceptance. Therefore, life and death is not a pleasant thing. The world is not a good place to live in King Xian. I do not wish to be born but suddenly was born, I do not wish to die but suddenly I was dead. The world does not secure one with an eternal life. The world is like a live hate, come again and live in a world of sufferings. O oh, living creatures in the world only aim at seeking happiness and avoiding suffering. They follow no other course. There are some who take a roundabout way, take an expedient way, or sit, stacking their course, going through painful experiences without getting tired. 